It is yet another time to experience the power of God as Apostle Joshua Selman ministers. Get ready for an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit. The first requirement in becoming a fisher of men is your training, not the fishing itself, or in our case now, not the evangelism. It's amazing how many people want to evangelize. They want to be part of the programs that lead to winning the lost, but they will not allow themselves to be trained. You are going to be learning that your life will be laced with a lot of inefficiency and pain and defeat and regret. Even though your intention is sincere, if you do not follow and you suddenly emerge yourself into a fisher of men, you will cause a lot of casualty at the sea. Are we together? Jesus trained them. He allowed them to watch his approach in dealing with men. Listen to me. Being a fisher of, man, of men is being called into the business of men. These guys were business people. They were not just called into the business of products and services. They were called into the business of men. And they needed hands-on training by following Jesus, by making observations. This is very important. I took out time to make a little study. And in that study, I tried to find out the training of a fisherman. What does it take for a man to be a fisherman? And I'm going to be drawing forth lessons from that training because Jesus said that we will still be fishers. It's only that we'll be fishers of men. And I took time to observe how a fisherman is trained. What are the factors that fishermen need to understand to be effective at fishing? Because they would be the same principles that will be used for effective witness, especially soul winning. You'll be learning why our evangelism and our soul winning campaigns and pursuits within the body of Christ is largely ineffective. Like I've told you, there's now, as we know, statistically speaking, above 8 billion people upon the earth, and we have just a little shy of, say, 2.6 to 2.8 professing Christians across the globe. It's a very uncomfortable truth, but we have to understand and agree that something is wrong with the inefficiency of our witness, especially our soul winning. We have programs and conferences organized globally every year, every week, every day. There are many mission agencies across the globe doing, you know, you know, great things at different levels. But why is it that in spite of many churches, many conferences, many men and women of God, many church programs, it looks to me and statistically proven that there does not seem to be constructive advancement in terms of the lost who come to the fold. Something is wrong. And we will use today's teaching to examine what is wrong. The training of a fisherman. The training of a fisherman is also the training of a soul winner. There are many things that soul winners, believers who desire to be part of winning the lost, regardless your zeal, there are things we can learn from the training of a fisherman. And I want to run through a list with you, hoping and praying that as you listen, God will sharpen you, reposition you to become a very effective soul winner. You believe that? Shout aloud, loud, Amen. So I wrote something here before we discuss that there are fishing principles that can help the believer become an effective soul winner. We are going to be learning what makes a fisherman an effective fisherman. And from the mandate of Jesus, draw forth lessons from there that can make us become effective witnesses, effective fishers of men. Are you ready now? Number one. The first thing we have to learn in the training of a fisherman is that you need to understand the sea. You need to understand the sea. That is where you find fish. You don't find fish in the air. You don't find fish just on the ground. 
You don't find fish on a tree. If you want to be a fisherman, the first thing you have to understand is the sea. That is where you find fish. Are we learning now? Every fisherman knows that until you are trained to understand the dynamics of navigating the sea, you will never be able to catch fish. I do not know any professional fisherman who does not understand the dynamics of the sea. And the sea is a very complicated place because there is a skill to walking or living in the sea. Walking, W-A-O-R-K-I-N-G. Walking in the sea. There is a skill. If you do not know it, you can die at sea. How many of you know that many people have died at the sea? Because there are times that the sea can be calm, almost noiseless. But there are times that the sea can be boisterous. Many fishermen, like many believers, do not know that the sea is where you find fish. But if you do not understand the sea and how to navigate your way, that mission can become a mission impossible that kills you right at sea. And unfortunately, many, many believers in the name of evangelism have died at the very place where they are supposed to save sinners. The sea for a believer represents the entire globe. Anywhere men can be found is likened to anywhere fish can be found. When you talk about the sea, in our context as believers, we are talking about the entire globe. Now listen very carefully. We are fishers of men and this is a training course. There's no fisherman, watch this, that finds himself roaming around, jumping and shouting around the sea. No. The fishermen observe the weather. Are we together? They observe so many things. And even when the sea becomes boisterous, like you'll be learning, the skill that you deploy when the, fish, the sea is calm is not the same skill you deploy when the, skill, the, the sea is boisterous. Are you following me now? Very important. The first lesson in the training of a fisherman that can be brought to the training of a soul winner is you must understand the sea. Please look at me. My goodness, this world you see is the world of men. And like the sea, it is a very complicated space. Are we together? If you want to save sinners and you do not understand the world you have found yourself in, you will get into the middle of things that you may never come out of. Every soul winner must be trained to understand the world wherein you will be going to save souls in. There are places across the earth that are harsh and messless, like the boisterous nature. There are places, I hope you know, that the fish in the sea don't stay at the same place. There are some of them, you can find them. In fact, just looking at the sea, you can see them popping up. But there are others who are deep down the sea. Many believers who want to be effective soul winners have never taken time to, they are not even interested in studying the cosmos, the world of men. And so we carry a lot of blind zeal in the name of evangelism, especially as touching our modern day world. There are many, many fishermen who have gone to sea and never returned back home. Like many people who went and suffered several casualties because they were not trained to understand that being a fisherman like a soul winner, lesson number one is you must study the sea. The world that we live in is not a world of compassion. The world that we live in is not a world of fairness. The world that we live in is not a world with men alone. There are spirits cohabiting with men. You need to understand the world wherein that's where sinners are. The world that you are living in, that you are going to evangelize and win souls is under the influence of this spirit called Satan. He has manipulated that sea with a, a way of thinking, a way of behavior. He's called the God of this world and that he's blinded the minds of the people. If the believer does not understand the cosmos, your witness will be very ineffective 
If you're following me, shout Amen. amen. Joshua Nimak. Selman was born 25th of June 1980 in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria. Also known as Apostle Joshua Selman is a Nigerian gospel minister, conference speaker, and televangelist. He is the founder and senior pastor of the Eternity Network International, ENI. The ENI have a program, Koinonia, a gospel fellowship held weekly in Samaru, Zaria, Kaduna State, as well as in Abuja, Nigeria. Joshua Nimak Selman was born 25 June 1980 in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria. All contents on this channel are for the sole purpose of educating, informing, and transforming people for the betterment of mankind and the glory of God. Please, if you find our contents helpful, then subscribe to our channel and smash the like button. God bless you and see you in our next video.